We hate to tell you you've been making banana bread wrong all these years, but once you see the secret ingredient that we use, you're never going to want to make it the same way again. Oh, okay. The secret's out of the bag. You can see it right there. It is cocoa powder, and you're going to want to add that to your grocery list so that you can make this banana bread too. It all starts in the same way that pretty much every single banana bread starts with. You got some bananas on the counter, you're like, they're starting to turn. Maybe I'll make a banana bread. And you know what? The mankier, the better. <laughs> if they're old, if they're brown, why make smoothies when you can make banana bread? You want to give them a definition of what manky means? But you know the type of bananas when they're like, they're definitely not ready for eating. They're too brown. You're, they're like this close to going in the compost. Perfect definition of manky. Thank you. This is also one of those pro tips that I like to pass on to you. Maybe you're making your banana bread with a fork. So mashing the bananas with a fork. What I like to do is use a potato masher. I hate when tools in the kitchen are just good for one thing. I do it too. And then we're gonna add in an egg. Here is where I like to make sure my banana bread is a little bit more moist because nothing's worse than a, a dry banana bread. No. I like to add sour cream to my banana bread. Looks good already. Looking really, really smooth, really delicious. We're gonna go in with some good old white sugar. So creamy. And then here is a pro tip I have for portioning out tablespoons of butter. All you're gonna wanna do is cut about a half inch off of your butter block basically and then divide those into four equal squares that is exactly a tablespoon of butter Ooh, very cool trick so then there's eight tablespoons there throw her into the microwave so we're just softening it you're not gonna you don't want melted butter for this recipe and then we're gonna throw it into our banana bread mixture. Oh, this is making my stomach hurt because I want it so bad right now. <laughs> okay, that's not the goal of this video. I don't want that little tummy it, hurting. It literally, I don't know if you guys could hear that. It was literally like rah, 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 rah. <laughs> So then here is the secret ingredient. Good old cocoa powder. That's what's gonna take this banana bread up 10,000 notches. And then if you're looking for another 10,000 notches, you're gonna wanna go in with some chocolate chips. Okay, so this isn't banana bread, it's banana cake. <laughs> it's banana chocolate cake. It really is, basically. And notice you're going with a bunt pan here. Yes, yeah, so I love the look of a bunt pan. Ooh. So I headed out to the grill, I was so excited. Got my bunt pan, heading out to the grill. See that I also have my grill wrapped up in a cup you don't need that, but I just think it looks cute in the cover. It's like a grill shower cap. It is! It's so <laughs> tiny too. <laughs> and this is when it all went wrong. Uh oh. So I put the bun pan into the grill, went to close the lid, and as it was closing, I was like, that's not gonna fit, that's not gonna fit, and it didn't fit. Is it just too tall? Like, what's the problem? It's too tall, and I, my bunt dreams just went out the window like that. It could still work if you had a smaller bunt pan. You could still do a smaller bun. That's bunt. a standard bun pan, buddy. I know, sorry. That does, that would have been perfect. Not gonna lie to you, I went from zero to 60 in irritation level. Oh, I, was I know. like, this is gonna <laughs> equal more dishes. Like, now I gotta wash this bun pan. I don't even get to see what a bun pan on the grill would have looked like. I'm like, hey, don't worry, take a breath. Let's come up with a different plan here. Started slamming things around a little bit, looking through my cupboards, looking through my drawers. You look peeved. <laughs> I was, I was. I know that face. <laughs> I was like, I don't want a loaf. I'm gonna throw that loaf pan off to the side. I know these aluminum pans fit into the grill, so I was like, I ain't taking any chances. What's wrong with a loaf? I just didn't feel like a loaf. Oh. So this is where I start being like, you know what? It's all right, it looks good. I think that looks good. And then for good measure, threw on a little bit more <laughs> chocolate chips, cause you can't go wrong with some more chocolate chips. If you're in a bad mood, chocolate chips will always fix it. So true. Back out to the grill. I'm like, I know this is gonna fit. We don't need to freak out here. Preheating process went smoothly. Put the banana bread onto the grill. I still was a little bit hesitant about that lid. And then all of a sudden, my little grilling buddy, little Ricky, started going nuts. He could smell that what was coming off of the grill. And I don't blame him, it smells incredible out there. He wants everything we have, all he, the time. He really does. Ooh, that looks incredible. So that was 20 minutes in. So I like the toothpick test. So I did the toothpick test to see if it was cooked throughout. You can see that it's cooked throughout. And then I was like, let's get this inside. 
I want to cut into this, but everybody knows when you're baking, you gotta wait for your, whatever you just baked to cool off first. So I put it onto a cooling rack. It looks even more chocolatey than when you started. Mm -hmm. And then I just do this method to flip it so that you don't, because it's very rich, it's very, um, it's very, it's very light, it's very fragile. So I couldn't just flip it with my hands. So you're just flip flopping it back over to, to so it ends up right side up. Yes, because okay. I want the I don't want the top to have those little ridges from the pan. No. See, look, perfect. It's essentially like a chocolate banana slab cake. Mm -hmm. At this point, <laughs> you could ice this, serve it for someone's birthday. Okay, and then I'm cutting it into very generous portions. Some people might be like, "How is that a portion for a banana bread?" But that's how I like to eat my banana bread. Any smaller, and you've lost me. Agre thank you. Well, I'm not. If I'm eating anything smaller than that, I'm just gonna go back for a second piece. Exactly. Do you want to have two pieces or do you want to lie to yourself and be like, I've only had one piece. Let's keep it light, you know? <laughs> this looks like it would be good dunked in some milk. I had it with my coffee oh. and oh my goodness, co dark chocolate and coffee flavor together. Come on, like, come on. Ooh, that looks so good. I, I had to dive right in. It was still warm. The chocolate was still gooey a little bit. I can see how moist it is. I feel like I would buy extra bananas just to make a, a banana bread like this. That's what I'm talking about. As little Ricky was crying throughout the duration of the cook, I was like, let's give him a little taste test. And the little fella didn't even like it. He is so particular. After all of that, he was like, mm, not for me. <laughs> he like, smells okay, but no thanks. It was incredible. I don't know what the heck's wrong with that little guy. If you're excited to try our banana bread recipe, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not ready to put away your Ninja Woodfire Grill, make sure to check out the recipe on your screen. See you in the next video.